hope you are having a lovely day welcome back to another video and today i have done a near enough full face of p louise products since i am doing the p louise pro course which is a 12 month online course where you get some tutorials products and loads of lovely stuff and i thought why not show off what they gave me so if you like how that sounds then Keep on watching. All right, so anything that isn't P. Louise, I'm essentially just going to skip over because the whole point of this video is for it to be P. Louise makeup. So I've already put my primer on off camera. And the first product I'm going to be starting with is the P. Louise Brow Balm. Um, it looks like this in a little pot. I've essentially just used a little tool here and put it on my palette and I'm just going to that through my brows like so. so I have been growing out my brows anyway so ideally I don't want much product on them through this one you have to work quite quickly with this because it does dry down quite quick like as you can see as soon as I pull there it kind of gets stuck that's what my brows look like with the balm on so the next product from P. Louise they'll be using is the eyebrow paint. This is in the shade Mochaccino. I've just kind of put a little bit onto my palette and I'm just going to dip right in. I have to be really careful because it's quite liquidy. It dries down really nicely but it's very easy for it to just kind of have a mind of its own. Okay, so I'm gonna go off and do the other brow and I will be right back. So I went a bit of bored with the brows. Um, <laughs> it went from doing the like individual hairs to basically just doing a pomade. Um, I don't know, maybe it's a bit too dark for me. If I went with the lighter one, maybe I would have worked better that way I'm not sure <laughs> so next anyway I'm gonna do the base for my eyes so of course P. Louise base my shade is number one I used to have 0 0.5 but that is so pale on me that I'm going to use number one for this and I do have the P. Louise brush for it because it did give me brushes. So that is one eye done. I will back when I've done the other. Next is the eyeshadows. Now P. Louise gave me lots of single eyeshadows. There's like over 70. So they got this side here. I did it sideways for some reason. I just thought it looked cute. I like that. Uh, some colours. And I've also got a few little pastel ones here. I think I'm going to do just like a smoky eye or something of that effect. So I'm going to go into what is a pale brown in just a fluffy brush and let's go for it. I think what I'm going to do now is just go in with a really dark shade and then kind of gradually blend this light one and the dark shade together. So this is scary because I'm not used to doing just smoky eyes. So this is quite nerve wracking for me. <laughs> and I'll get another fluffy brush and smirk it out. come out very purpley which wasn't what I was expecting that's so strange <laughs> so 
screw it, I'm gonna go up higher with it. Let's go all out, guys. Can you tell I don't do smoky eyes now? Probably. I've cleaned up my eyes and added it to the other side. It is really purple, which I didn't kind of expect from looking at the shadow, but I actually really like it. And I pretty much just used that colour and smoked it out, which I am liking a lot, so that's good. Um, so I'm just gonna, with my finger, add one of the shimmers. I'm probably gonna want go for the one that's like the most gold. That's really bright. And just kind of care. Yep, that's, that's. That's some pigment. <laughs> I'm gonna have to be really careful. Oh my god. It's like putting gold leaf on your face. That's insane. I've added it with brushes before, which kind of makes it kind of sheer. I've not added it with my fingers yet, so this is kind of weird. Wow. <laughs> That's insane. That's actually insane. Okay, so next I'm going to do eyeliner. So for that, I'm going to be using the Fresh Ink pen in Feed Black. And again, I've just put a bit on the palette. I'm going to take one of the P. Louise liners. I might just follow my lash line there. Like just that definition around my eyes is quite nice. I'm liking that, so I think I might just do the other eye the same. I don't think I need a wing today. I might do lashes instead though, which is exciting. Um so I will just line the other eye. I might also do my waterline down there as well. So I will be right back after I've done that. Right, so as you can see, it's a little bit later. I've just gone and had my tea and then finished off doing my waterline with the black paint. Um, so this is what my eyes look like. I'll put on some lashes in a bit. Um, so what I'm going to do off camera now is foundation, concealer and powder and then I will come back and we will add the next lot of products. So I've just finished foundation, concealer and powder. So what I'm going to do now I've done that is grab a bit more of that really dark brownie purple shadow and put it underneath here. I don't often put a lot on my lower lash line just because I think sometimes it can look like too much on my face. Um, but if I'm going to do a smoky eye, I've got to do it right, so I'm going to do it. I'm liking these eyeshadows, they take a little bit of build up. But they are buildable. I'm trying not to make my, my forehead go <laughs> or else all the foundation is just gonna crease right into it. I already have really creasy eyes. They just naturally do that. So I've just done the underneath my eyes. One of my eyelids is really itching and it's horrible and it keeps bugging me but we're gonna carry on and be brave. I'm gonna do blush and then I'm gonna do the bronze. Mm. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> this is the palette that they gave me. I think I'm gonna do this second one because it's a little bit corally. And for some reason I really like corally tones on me. Oh, my eyes itching so much. 
and I'm just gonna blend that up like so without thinking about the lash that's itching uh, So this is the bronze palette that P. Louise gave me. I'm going to probably do one of the paler shades. I might blend some of like one of these two and then I might blend one of these two up here into it. We shall see. There we go. They're quite orangey these so I'm not as confident with them. Right, so I've lined my lips and I've got the lip base in Bad Intentions um, and again I've put it on my little palette, got a lip brush and I'm just going to fill in from where I've lined it. I thought this shade of good night, it smells really nice, <laughs> um, I thought it would kind of match the look that I've done. Right, so I'm going to put a gloss on top of that, which is the hollow gloss, doing the same, putting it on my little palette, hopefully I'll be able to pick it up okay on this brush. because of the way I'm doing it it's not coming across as shimmery as I would like. Alright so all that's left to do is my mascara and also to put on the lashes so I'm gonna come back once I've done that and you'll get to have a look at the final look. Okay guys so this is the final look what do you think? I really like it. I think the smokiness actually suits me. I'm not used to the lashes so my eyes are a little bit, I'm blinking a lot and the water in a bit but hopefully I will eventually get used to wearing lashes. It might take a little bit of time though, especially as these are very, very full. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below and if you have any suggestions as well, definitely let me know. If you liked this video, you like this look, give it a like and subscribe as well. And hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.